Hello, and welcome to my next video tutorial series. This is num video number two on Analog Redstone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Analog Math, Analog Mathematics. Uh, this is really going to set kind of a, a foundation for what we what we want to do later later on. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Uh, by, by Analog Math, I mean adding and subtracting uh, Analog Redstone signals. Uh, so for example, we put, uh, let's say we have a signal of 2 and a signal of 4. How do we how do we interact these signals? How are we going to add them together? Because obviously just putting um, redstone in between them, you're going to get a signal of 4, your highest value, and not a signal of 6. So uh, what do we do with this? Well, we, we can use comparators um, to add and subtract. So really quickly, let me just show you um, just how, obviously how you would subtract. Uh, you could take going from one, right? Um, well, actually, I don't know if you can really. There's not really a good way to route this. Um, yeah, there we go. So to subtract, all you would do is just use the comparator in subtracting mode, and. Um, 4 minus 6, or 4 minus 2, uh, sorry, my bad, 2 minus 4 is, is going to be 0, so that's not going to work. But if we add so if we add into here, let's say 4 minus, or um, is that 7 minus 4, that's going to be equal to 3. So short and sweet, uh, the simplest method to subtract is just by using sub the subtract on the comparator. Very, very simple. However, addition gets a little weird. Um, addition can be a little bit convoluted. Uh, what we're going to do is we pull both signals out, right? And then we make a chain of comparators like this, all set to subtracting mode. And this is kind of what I'd like to call maybe like an addition chain or a subtraction chain. In any case, what we're going to do is supply the back of it with a value of 15. So in each step we look for anything coming off the side of, of our of our chain and we subtract it from whatever's left from before. So 15 minus 7 is 8, so 8 gets passed onto here. And then 8 minus 4 is 4, so then 4 gets passed on. So the value here should be Four, as we can see. So what can we do with that? And then we all we do then is um, we subtract we subtract it uh, from fifteen again, and then that is our addition. So we have four plus one two three four five six seven should be eleven. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. So that worked out pretty well. So, yes, basically, kind of like you use the subtraction functions of the comparators to do kind of like a convoluted addition. All right, now let's take a look at the usefulness of this in a survival setting. Let's say you have a furnace room, and you have two chests: one for charcoal, and one for coal. And you don't really care. Um, about charcoal and coal. Um, they're basically the same thing to you for your, as far as your furnaces are concerned. And you want to have this bar across the top to be lit up um, based on how much coal and charcoal you have. Uh, and basically what you're saying is I want this bar to show this chest plus this chest. Alright, so to do that I've already set up a few things. Uh, basically I've just set up the wiring so I have uh, I have the wiring across the top done as we were like how we were talking about in the last video, and I have uh, the comparators wired up to the chests, and I was I'm using the the method of analog signal travel we were talking about in the last video, and oh my gosh all the time. Hmm. And then it just you know we send the signal up here and it will it will yeah you get the, you get the picture okay so uh 
let's just go ahead and apply what we talked about earlier. Um, let me go ahead and do that really quickly. And take our two signals from our two different chests, chain them together in that subtraction chain, put a, sub put a uh, 15 at the end of it, feed it into another one that's subtracting from 15. That's all you got to do. That's it's a very simple circuit to to add uh, two analog signals together. Uh, just as far as percentage-wise goes, let's just reduce these chests. Um, yeah, travel's taking a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's quickly add this back in. Okay. Um, so let's uh, let's take a look at this then. If we start adding a lot more coal into this chest, we have about 30% that 30% full of coal. Let's make this like 30% full of charcoal. And there you go. And that's how we do. Now you have just a general bar that is affected by um, both chests very nicely. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been a short video, but um, next time we're going to be talking about probably like binary and hexadecimal values or something like that. Something a little bit more intense. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good day.